Good morning. So this is a random video. I'm not going to do the EIN thing today. I actually want to give someone a possible business venture. Um, some people may know I have been, um, I had a recent miscarriage like a couple of months back that you all know of. I've actually had four miscarriages. So, um, my husband and I, like I said, this is a completely random video. Um, my husband and I have been trying to conceive for about five months now. And then we kind of got like a little frustrated and was getting ready to go the um, IVF route. IVF route, $15,000. So he was willing to do that. And I was like, listen, I know it gotta be another way to have a baby instead of paying $15,000. So I did all the tests. We actually started doing um, the IVF route and Got all my tests done. Everything came back normal. I thought I had bad eggs. I'm like, listen, I'm only 30 years old. My husband's 34. I'm like, hey, there's no way. <laughs> like something could be that wrong with me to the point where I just can't have kids. So I had four miscarriages. I actually lost a set of twins. I was so <laughs> heartbroken. And that was one of the main reasons why I've like been so disconnected to, um, with mobile mindset, I just needed to kind of get myself back together. Like we've been trying for a while and I lost twins. Like we've been wanting twins. Twins runs on both sides, although it really matters if um, it's on the, the lady side, but we wanted twins and I lost a set of twins. So after that, after I lost the twins, I just couldn't get pregnant anymore, right? So I'm like, okay, maybe my tubes are blocked, but go back. So after I took the test, the test came back, everything was completely normal. I thought I had bad eggs, that wasn't the case. I was like, what the hell is wrong with me? Like, I have two kids already. I know my first daughter, she was born at one pound, but my second daughter, Lauren, um, she was full term like I was ready for her to get out like serve her an eviction notice and I actually had to get induced to get her out so I was like okay I know I'm capable of having a healthy pregnancy so I said there has to be another way other than IVF um spend fifteen thousand dollars so I started doing some research y'all know I just I read research and find stuff like it has to be other ways to get things done so I did some research and I decided to go the holistic route all natural and I figured maybe my tubes are blocked since I wasn't getting pregnant anymore I was like okay most likely my tubes are blocked did research found um, vaginal steaming um, yoni pearls and yoni detox and and I started doing that so I did my first round of yoni detox last month and um, and also the steams so I did research found the herbs that um, helps you conceive, completely detoxes your womb. And this helps for people with endometriosis, PCOS, fibroids, like you'll literally pass a fibroid when you do this, like literally pass the whole damn fibroid, crazy. And it's scary what comes out. When I did my um, pearls, a, a lot of scar tissue came out. It was scary, like, <laughs> It was disgusting, but it was extremely scary. And But it felt good to know that that stuff that was in me, probably from all my miscarriages, never came out. Like, and it was stuck in there and it probably was hard for the embryo to implant. So I figured my tubes were blocked because I wasn't getting pregnant anymore. Before, I didn't have a problem with getting pregnant. It's just, I had a problem with the embryo implanting in my uterus. So I know the scar tissue was completely blocking everything. So I started going the holistic route and doing vaginal steaming and yoni pearls. So I say all of that to say this, this is a really good field to get into 
whoever you have to have a passion for this though because people ask a lot of questions regarding the yoni pearls and the vaginal steaming and stuff and you can make really good money off of this and i say that because the markup of these yoni pearls is ridiculous like these yoni pearls literally cost me i bought 50 pearls and it was only 39 dollars. of course they come from overseas but it's a chinese medicine so you're getting it from the right place I'm gonna open up one of the pearls. This is how one of the pearls look. Now, mind you, I only bought it wholesale, but you can actually um, get these pearls in any type of packaging you want. You can choose the color, put your logo on it. You completely design the packaging how you want it to be. Other than that, you can, um, they do have where you can purchase the vaginal steam packets from them, but I went out to, to to our holistic store here and I just bought a crap load of herbs and I do my vaginal steaming here at my house so I'm actually gonna go and oh and you can buy um when you do that you can get the um the seat the yoni seat where you sit and you do the the, the um <sighs> vaginal steam so you can sell the whole shebang the whole thing so research this because when you start selling and this stuff really sells, especially people with PCOS who's trying to conceive, like you have no idea how many women feel like they cannot have a child, but they can. It's just, you have to basically detox your womb and doctors are telling them you'll never be able to have a baby unless you go through IVF. That's not true. Like it's not true. You just need to take care of your body and get all that stuff that's in out. So I researched, did a lot of research and the um, herbs that I bought were bay leaf and I actually used some, so it was, I, it was way more than this, but this little, this only cost me a dollar, but it was more than this. It was like the whole bag was filled, but it was a dollar and 12 cent. If this camera will focus. Let's see if it'll focus. So this was only a dollar and 12 cent. Um, bay leaf, nettle leaf. Um, and this is just off my personal research. Rose buds, um, no, roses, buds, and petals. I know this really helps. I, I know what each of these things do. I have it actually written down, and I don't know what paper is, but each one of these herbs um, really helps with detoxing the womb and helping with fertility. And PCOS, endometriosis, fibroids, anything is wrong with the uterus. Um, raspberry leaf, um, that was $1.47. Mugwort, I've heard a lot about this with um, infertility. This was $1.75. Oh, but these roses, buds and petals, this was $6.24. These are really expensive. They, they weigh more, but of course I had way more than this. So, um, um, Calendula, I think I'm pronouncing that right. Dollar and six cent. Again, this is filled all the way to the top, but it was a dollar and six cent. So imagine you just buying all of this stuff. But like I said, you can all, they have the prepackaged um, herbs when you order and then you can put your logo on it, put everything, anything you want in the package. But they have this um, where you could pre, it already be prepackaged. So the customer would just have to dump them in the, um, the Yoni seat and steam. Uh, crazy thing is oregano. I've read that oregano helps with infertility and um, fibroids. Um, lavender, of course. I read a lot about that. That was expensive too. It was three dollars for that. Um, yarrow. Read about yarrow. And red clover. I think I'm missing one. My quirk. And red clover. But anyway, I steam. So after your cycle goes off. You're supposed to wait three days, um, but my first day of my second going off, I'm going to steam. And then um, the second or third day, I'm going to use my pearls. So I'm going to open this and I'm going to show you how it looks. 
Okay, so I'm gonna open up the pearl and I'm gonna show you how the pearl looks. Woo! And it's strong too. It's like a, a real minty smell. It don't smell bad, but what I'm gonna tell you this, when you put it in, it's like when you, when you put a winter fresh in your mouth. That's how I feel down there. <laughs> That's exactly how it feels when you put in the, um, a winter fresh. So the pearl looks like this. Um, and you put it in, just stop swinging. You put it in just like um, a, a tampon. It's called a tampon, the, whatever they call it. But you leave the string out hanging just like a tampon and um you leave it in for three days now i think they said let me turn this thing around because the lighting is terrible yeah it doesn't seem much better all right so you leave it in this is the pearl you leave it in for three days you put you use three of them you use three pearls you leave them in for three days um if it's your first time trying and you're probably scared you might want to leave it in just for put one pearl in for 24 hours, take it out and then put the other two in um, for the next um, 48 hours. And then you take them out after the three days are up. No sex for seven to nine, seven, nine or seven to 10 days because that's gonna be the next four days is gonna be your purging period. The period where you purge. Purge meaning all dead tissue is gonna come out, a fibroid may come out, old blood clots may come out, a bunch of stuff is gonna come out your vagina, okay? So you can't have sex for um, three or no, seven to 10 days. So the first three days you keep the pearls in, you can still take a bath, you can still wash, you can still use the restroom, it don't affect anything. It's just like having a tampon, but just leave them in for three days. And then the next um, four days, make sure no intercourse because that's when you're gonna purge. And I don't think y'all wanna have intercourse and stuff gonna come out. Cause it's gonna come out, like seriously. A lot of stuff is gonna come out. And, and mucus, like globs of mucus. Everybody is different, it doesn't happen to everybody. But from my experience, I had a bunch of dead tissue come out of me. So after this cycle, I'm gonna try again. And we are gonna try for, um, hopefully it'll be twins. If it's not, it's, that's fine. We. Just want to decorate our nursery because it looks so boring and bare in there. But anyway, I think this is a really good um, um, niche to get into. Who's ever in the holistic holistic thing? Just research about the pearls. You will see videos of um, like nurses and doctors saying, "Don't detox your womb because you're taking away from their money." Of course, they want to make money, so they're going to tell you not to do it. This is all natural. This is nothing but natural herbs. Now, there, I will say this. They are, they are fake herbs. Um, well, fake pearls. If they have a black dot in the middle of the pearls, you don't want to use them. I've already tested these. These are nothing more just like a brown ball, and if you cut it open, it'll shatter into like, like powder-looking stuff. So these are the real ones. The fake ones have the black stuff in the middle. Don't use those. So when you buy one, just cut one open. Um, and I have some. If some, if you all want to um, try them, I have them. I'm gonna give some to my cousins and them first because they've been wanting some. My mom and my sister-in-law has fibroids, and I had my mom try them. Her two of her fibroids came out, but my sister-in-law has fibroids really bad, and I'm going to give her some first though. But these are really good to get into. But you have to have a, I guess, a type of love for it in order to do it. Because this is one of those businesses where your customers are going to nag the crap out of you with questions. Like, all day, every day. So if you're not the type of person who are willing to get into the thing where people ask you a bunch of questions, don't do it. And you have to have a love for it. Like, when you sell stuff... Or you get into a, a business venture, you have to have a, a love of doing it. Like you just can't ha have that mind frame of, oh, I can do this just to make some quick money. 
because it's not gonna come that way when you get when you have a love for doing something the money will come and this is a really good business venture to get into especially when you are experiencing the infertility yourself and you just genuinely want to help somebody else the money will come and i know um well i don't know them personally but i've found a couple of black owned businesses who does these it's not a lot so it's not like the hair game that's completely saturated you can become an expert where you live in the holistic area with infertility people with pcos endometriosis fibroids wherever you live you can become that go-to person for this and even if they don't have those problems just wanting to rejuvenate your womb is better than anything and they have these wands this is rated x <laughs> so if you are a child watching this please get off but they they have these wands with herbs in them and you stick them in your vagina you swirl it around and it <laughs> it tightens the crap out of your vagina really tight like almost your version type type thing and i've um heard people do it like an hour before your intercourse and whoo yeah but really good really good really good so and another thing y'all I, so I talked to my husband about um possibly putting him on the camera because he ain't really he's not a camera person but I really want to show you all, um, especially the people who've been asking me about the trucking thing. Um, I, I just have to try to get it up with him. He he He's a morning person and I'm not. Like, I don't want to wake up to about 10, 11 o'clock. And that's the truth. But um, on the weekends, we do go out to the trucks and put debt fuel in them and do inspections and stuff. But we'll I'll, I'll do it one day. So I'm going to start putting him on camera and kind of just vlog our lives is two business owners married trying to keep um marriage spicy and with kids and trying to grow your family and run business at the same time it's hard but i wouldn't trade it in for the world but if you're interested in the holistic stuff let me know and i don't know much about it i've only known what i've researched and have experienced for myself but i wouldn't get into it unless you try it first you definitely want to do it first so and i will definitely keep y'all updated on my progress rhythm with them because i'm going to just for my keepsake i'm going to vlog my um my conceiving journey anyway so so that i can go back and look on because we've been at this for a while and it'll feel good to kind of go back and say golly like we've been at this stuff we've been at it for a while and it's stressful especially trying to run a business and you want to grow your family at the same time it's a lot but i enjoy it so i will see you all next time and